Welcome to this video podcast from the International Al Jolson Society. Starting as an audio podcast in 2007, this is a look into the works and legacy of the world's greatest entertainer, Al Jolson. An unrivaled star of stage, screen, and recording, his influences are felt even today, more than 60 years after his passing. This week, a sample of Al Jolson, his song and comedy, joined by his old buddy George Jessel, from the August 31st, 1935 edition of The Shell Chateau. You'll hear Al Jolson sing Coney Island, a song he sang several weeks ago on the same program, as well as Plain Old Me, and enjoy an edited version of George Jessel's routine, much longer on the radio program, including his song, Life is a Song, with commentary. And now, Al Jolson and George Jessel. Some time ago, ladies and gentlemen, I sang a song that had to do with the summertime. And since the weather here in Los Angeles is hot, and the nights are full of romance, I think it's no more than fitting that I sing the song again. The title is Pony Island. Shut out, Victor. <laughs> Every summer, we go down to Goville by the sea, where one can rub his shoulders with a king. St. Moritz in wintertime, ah, that's the place to be. And then to Paris in the spring, where one can have his little fling. Though Normandy is lovely in November, somehow it leaves you nothing to remember I can't forget the night I met you down at Pony Island Gee, I was proud you picked me from the crowd at Pony Island And very soon I proved to you that my intentions weren't phony it ended in a matrimony, and now we're eating caviar instead of macaroni. But I recall those picnic lunches of bologna with a smile. I guess I'm still a hick, cause I still get a kick. Just loving you while shoving through the crowded Pony Isle. I can't forget the night I met you down at Pony Island. Gee, I was proud you picked me from the crowded Pony Island. And very soon I proved to you that my intentions weren't phony. In a macaroni And now we're eating caviar instead of macaroni But I recall those picnic lunches of bologna with a smile I guess I'm still a hick Cause I still get a kick just loving you while shoving through the crowd at Pony <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest in Shell Chateau tonight was a famous comedian who was with us four weeks ago. You know, it was the first act we've ever repeated in Shell Chateau. But I got hundreds of phone calls asking me, please, please, wouldn't I put this fellow on again? In fact, I finally got so tired having Jessel call me, I just brought him back. That's all. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, George Jessel. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, AC. It's really a great pleasure to be back on this show. It's a program to be brought back, not only because I have another job, but also the shows that the request of an entire nation have been granted. <laughs> 
Life is a song, let's sing it together. Let's take our hearts and dip them in rhyme. I love this song. You know, some songs have so much more personality than others. Personality is a very peculiar thing. We often wonder just what it is. Eleanor Glynn, I think, came closest when she said, it's that certain something that that one person has when he or she enter a room immediately, all eyes are turned toward that person. And there's the other kind, like my sister's fellow, where you look away mad right away, you know? To show you what personality will do, about three or four years ago, I spoke out here at a dinner given at one of the hotels by Mr. Sid Grauman to a great many celebrities. And all these people were tense, waiting for these personalities to come in. You know, nervous to playing with their knives and forks. I'll never forget it. Eddie Cantor came in and the people cheered. Al Jolson came in, they cheered. I came in, they started to eat. And finally, finally, to show you what personality will do, Marie Chevalier entered. And when Chevalier entered, all the women fainted. I've never seen anything like that in my life. What is it? Well, they came in with such a pussy. Chevalier came in and everybody fainted. Then Clark Gable came in and Chevalier fainted. Let's strike an old Mendelssohn Road concerning spring weather. Let's sing it together. And make life a I want you folks here in South Dakota to know that Jessel isn't the only guy that can call up his mother and use the phone. I got to pull around here, too. And if he can phone his mama, I can phone mine. Hello, mama. This is your son, A.B. I mean, Al. Al. What do you mean, mama? Sure, I'm working. I'm still the host at South Dakota. And believe me, mama, it's a swell job. But no matter how swell the job can be or how swell the people are that I'll ever meet, to you, mama, darling, <laughs> I'll always be just plain old me. Some folks never are contented with the little things they've got. But I never have repented. I'm happy with my lot I like it here where I am Seeing the things that I see Doing the things that I do Just being plain old me Here in my own little nest Life is a sweet melody And I find contentment and rest Just being plain old me You won't ever see me crying Cause I can't reach the sun Say I ain't even trying To change my place with anyone I like it here where I am Just letting everything be Loving the things that I love Just being plain old me I like it, I like it Here where I am Seeing the things that I see Doing the things that I do just being plain old me Here in my own little nest Life is a sweet melody And I find contentment and rest Just being plain old me You won't ever see me crying Cause I can't reach the sun Hey I ain't even trying to change my place with anyone. I like it, I like it, here where I am. Just 
Just let everything be Love in the things that I love Just be in a plain old This entire radio program is available on the website of the International Al Jolson Society, www.jolson.org. That's J-O-L-S-O-N dot O-R-G. Along with many other radio shows, Jolson recordings, video clips, and information about the world's greatest entertainer. Be sure to visit the site and listen for the next podcast. As Al Jolson said... In the words he made famous, You ain't heard nothing yet.